Wall Street marchers. They came here. Half of them. The other half is still marching. So I came from DC in solidarity with the entire occupation This American flag, reportedly, the guy that brought it made this uh, made this announcement that it was the last thing that came from Zuccotti Park. It's a it's officially a historical relic. I think you can label it a relic. Yes. Yeah. So We're on the front page of Ustream. I don't know how much longer we're going to keep this up. You know, um, for the the viewers should know that at 9 a.m. local there is supposed to be a. Uh, a, a rally at Canal and 6th Avenue. We're gonna march to only about an hour and a half from that. Is that what you're planning on doing? Yeah. Everyone wants to keep you on. We've, yeah, we've... we've got a statement from Bloomberg, is that true? Um, Bloomberg already was quoted. Whoa. I thought he was having a press conference. He is, but he was already quoted. What did he say? Um, let me quote him here. According to the New York Times, uh, I'm gonna now read uh, Mayor Bloomberg's uh, quote from this morning's uh, police action at uh, Occupy Wall Street. I lost my hotspot quite a bit ago. We're on the 3G network here. Um, here's Mayor Bloomberg's complete statement, if I can read it according to the New York Times. At 1 o'clock this morning, the New York City Police Department and the owners of Zuccotti Park notified protesters in the park that they had to immediately remove tents, sleeping bags, and other belongings, and must follow the park rules if they wish to continue to use it to protest. Many protesters peacefully complied and left. At Brookfield's request, members of the NYPD and Sanitation Department assisted in removing any remaining tents and sleeping bags. This action was taken at this time of day to reduce the risk of confrontation in the park and to, minim and, excuse me, to minimize disruption to the surrounding neighborhood. Protesters were asked to temporarily leave the park while this occurred and have been told that they will be free to return to the park once Brookfield finishes cleaning it later this morning. Protesters and the general public are welcome there to exercise their First Amendment rights and otherwise enjoy the park, but will not be allowed to use tents, sleeping bags, or tarps, and going forward must follow all park rules. Again, this is Mayor Mike Bloomberg according to the New York Times. I continue. The law that created Zuccotti Park required that it be open for the public to enjoy for passive recreation 24 hours a day. Ever since the occupation began, that law has not been complied with as the park has been taken over by protesters, making it unavailable to anyone else. 
From the beginning, I have said that the city had two principal goals. Guaranteeing public health and safety and guaranteeing the protesters' First Amendment rights. But when those two goals clash, the health and safety of the public and our first responders must be the priority. This is Mayor Mike Bloomberg, according to the New York Times, continuing. That is why, several weeks ago, the city acted to remove generators and fuel that posed a fire hazard from the park. I have become increasingly concerned, as had the park's owner, Brookfield Properties, that the occupation was coming to pose a health and fire safety hazard to the protesters and to the surrounding community. We have been in constant contact with Brookfield, and yesterday they requested that the city assisted in enforcing the no sleeping and camping rules in the park. But make no mistake, the final decision to act was mine. The park had become covered in tents and tarps, making it next to impossible, excuse me, here we go. The park had become covered in tents and tarps, making it next to impossible to safely navigate for the public and for first responders who are responsible for guaranteeing public safety. The dangers posed were evident last week when an EMT was injured as protesters attempted to prevent him and several police officers from helping a mentally ill man who was menacing others. As an increasing number of large tents and other structures have been erected, these dangers have increased. It has become increasingly difficult even to monitor activity in the park to protect the protesters and the public, and the proliferation of tents and other obstructions has created an increasing fire and other obstructions has created an increasing fire hazard that had to be addressed. Mayor Mike Bloomberg continues, according to the New York Times. Some have argued to allow the protesters to stay in the park indefinitely. Others have suggested we just wait for winter and hope the cold weather drove the protesters away. But inaction was not an option. I could not wait for someone in the park to get killed or to injure another first responder before acting. Others have cautioned against action. Others have cautioned against action because enforcing our laws might be used by some protesters as a pretext for violence. But we must never be afraid to insist on compliance with our laws. Unfortunately, the park was becoming a place where people came not to protest, but rather to break laws, and in some cases, to harm others. There have been reports of businesses being threatened and complaints about noise and unsanitary conditions that have seriously impacted the quality of life for residents and businesses in this now thriving neighborhood. The majority of protesters have been peaceful and responsible, but an unfortunate minority have not been. And as the number of protesters has grown, this has created an intolerable situation. Excuse me, an intolerable situation. No right is absolute, and with every right comes responsibilities. The First Amendment gives every New Yorker the right to speak out, but it does not give anyone the right to sleep in a park or otherwise take it over to the exclusion of others, nor does it permit anyone in our society to live... Sorry, we're getting updates as it came in. Let me just scroll back down to live blog, and I'm going to go right back to the same words. I, I continue. Nor does it permit anyone in our society to live outside the law. There is no ambiguity in the law here. The First Amendment protects speech. It does not protect the use of tents and sleeping bags to take over a public space. Protesters have had two months to occupy the park with tents and sleeping bags. Now they will have to occupy the space with the power of their arguments. He continues. Let me conclude by thanking the NYPD, FDNY, and the Department of Sanitation for their professionalism earlier this morning. Thank you. End quote. That was Mayor Mike Bloomberg, quoted by the New York Times Metro Desk. Now, breaking. Um, since I have this feed, I want to stipulate two quick things. One, he keeps referring to the law that's being broken. There was no law broken. The other part is a private park, open 24 hours. The rules that they enforced, that they chose to enforce today, were posted on day 8. The rules were posted on day 8. The other 99 was there. We can confirm it. We have pictures of it. Of private security for Brookfield Properties directing new laws retroactively after these protesters had occupied Zuccotti Park. The second point um, that I just want to make generally, because there's now been some talk about violence even in newspapers here. 
uh, my point and my voice and my name alone could subscribe to the fact that any other camp in America suffered, unfortunately, more robberies, unfortunately, more sexual assaults or rapes than did the Connie Park over the last two months. I stand here to tell you, my voice, most college campuses in this city in this country have suffered more violence, more robberies, unfortunately more sexual assaults and rapes than Zakati Park in the last 60 days, and I reject that argument as a way to peacefully remove uh, occupiers of that private park. That's all I'd like to say. And the, the statement speaks for itself. You can go interview someone else with me. Alright, so there... Uh, this is Mike, live stream of Globe Red Line. I'm just trying to connect. Last year, can you give me your number? Yeah, yeah, there he goes. It's 323. Two seven, two seven. This is on uh, ustream.tv slash uh, When you go on and I will occupy. And then my personal is at Timcast. 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 Yeah. And I will occupy is our uh, is our tour of the Occupy Wall Street. Two nine two seven. Uh, two seven two seven. I just realized. I okay. I certainly hope they didn't hear that. We're at about forty seven euro five six one thirty thousand one five six. Okay, people are posting links, but I can't see it. Okay, cool, I'll find it. Migrate to DC, we'll take the capital. Migrate south, get complete numbers to outreach everywhere, hit every single union, every single church, and like that can stop us. Look at these cops. We have that little number against all of our occupations. That's what's standing between us and freedom. <laughs> we got that one. Thank you. So you're the live stream guy? Uh, we're actually on Ustream. But yeah, yeah, I am. Were you watching? Yeah. Awesome, dude. That's how I found out that. That it was being rated. Right on, now you're on. I found out through the live stream. Any of you guys out there who are in New York, Pennsylvania, and especially New Jersey, if you're seeing this, we need you to be here right now. For real. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to see about occupying breakfast real quick. Courthouses, it's like a perfect... You know what, let's separate them out so people will only take half. Alright, I got a sandwich, I'm eating. I gotta charge my phone to upload a police video. So how many warrants? Two buses. Two seven two is a ninety one. Two seven out of nine. 
I read this in the Oregonian, doing some excellent reporting. Uh, Starbucks this last week stopped job in seven uh, adding $1.50 to coffee beans if it was less than a pound. They had just come up with this fee that they were charging. The, the government, I guess, got involved because they didn't charge the fee. That's what they said, I think, for our followers. If that's an encroachment of the government, that's the market. I'd love to do that. 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 Go to the deli. All right, I'm going to go to the deli. I'll let them come to the deli. I'll come back to the deli. Yeah. 